Okay guys, a little change of pace from the foundry and machine shop to solar panels. This is my four foot by eight foot solar panel that I built. And this uses the downspout system. But I also modified it as an experiment, which all solar panels are, and added as you'll see, rocks. I added in lava, uh, not la uh, lava, um, sauna, sauna rocks. The heat, uh, heat tempered rocks and filled in the voids to help hold heat a little bit longer towards the end of the day. These rocks are getting hot and absorbing the sun's energy and holding the heat just a little bit longer towards the end of the day. Now, the cold air intake is down here and here's the uh, downspout. I believe there were three by four and it's six foot uh, six and a half foot long and then as you can see the angle that gives uh, an angle for my location of 25 degrees and the envelope is 22 and a half 23 to 28 degrees so I'm right in the middle now this is on a stand and then all the area underneath is filled with styrofoam and it's completely encased all the way around and you can see the expansion foam I added around any gaps and I siliconed all the panels before I screwed them on and then siliconed around the base of course so this is producing right now in the uh, middle to the end of November it is producing a good four hours of heat in the house the frame is made from two by sixes then the downspouts and then the supports on each end right there and right over here that support is one by fours and then they were cut out I don't know if the camera will pick it up on the inside there's where they were cut out and the tubes come through and they are all siliconed in to seal it so this middle section is dead air there's no air flowing through here only through the tubes so this whole section from that divider to that divider is just sealed absorbing heat and there's no airflow in there the airflow comes in the end of the tubes and out and then the exit is up there in that upper corner okay so I think that clearly shows you the panel uh, I'll explain more and show you uh, put in some uh, pictures to show you the assembly process that I um, that I did to build this and now um, I'll stop the video go down downstairs and show you how it's installed in the house where it comes in the attic okay now we're up in the attic and here is the uh, cold air duct coming up from the back closet. Now this closet is a, all the way back against the back wall. There you can see the, uh, the back of the house. So I can't get much further 
and uh, that four inch duck goes all the way down to the floor and there's a four by ten register on the end and then it comes up to this radian uh, radi radion radian uh, gas uh, fan it's to take the, the, the gas out of your basement this one's rated about 250 to 400 uh, cubic feet per minute and then right at the on top of that fan inside that uh, aluminum foil there is um, uh, a backdraft valve and that backdraft valve is like um, like a, a choke on a carburetor uh, it's just a butterfly only this is ultra light so when the fan kicks in that butterfly opens up and uh, the air flows through and when it shuts off that snaps back stopping air from flowing backwards down into the house so now I'll back up and matter of fact I'll just turn around here okay now I don't know how good this is going to show up because it's a little cramped here all right there's the cold air going and there's where it goes up into the solar panel and uh, there is a drain tube to catch condensation and that goes down into a vent further on back now over here another eight foot over is where the solar panel uh, outlet is and and it comes down now this cable here uh, this cable right here this is the temperature switch that's inside the solar panel and it kicks on at 90, uh, 110 and kicks off at 90 I would I would like to have gotten a 70 to 80 uh, so it would kick on at 80 degrees and kick off at 70 but they don't make them now down here is another cable because I have a inline four inch uh, fan and that's rated at a hundred cubic foot uh, per minute so this sucks the hot air out of the panel the other one pushes it up so it's like a booster and then just on the other side of, the, of uh, that rafter and the lighting is not the greatest um, that's where it goes down right down uh, you can just see a little bit of the aluminum foil there that's where it goes down through the ceiling into another closet and then pitches 90 degrees right out uh, into the living room and that's how simple it is it's, it's, it's not really uh, it's just an airflow coming taking the cold air off the floor and running it up through the solar panel heating it up and then it comes back out and down and back into your living room or wherever you have your outlet <laughs> um, I am getting anywhere I am getting anywhere from oh I'd say three and a half to four and a half hours of uh, of heat for some reason today it's being a little bullheaded it hasn't turned on yet and it's about 1030 in the morning so I um, I'm not sure why I it hasn't kicked in yet but uh, that's that's the whole system now I will be putting in a uh, a whole bunch of pictures of how I built the panel uh, right after this
Okay, guys. Um, here is the um, uh, frame uh, in view to give you a little heads up on how the uh, how the uh, frame of the solar panel is put together. You can see that um, the top notch is um, three quarters of an inch wide by uh, five sixteenths. And that was to give me some space for the silicone and the glass to fit in a notch and be flush. Then the bottom notch is again three quarter inch wide by three eighths or half inch. The panel that's on the roof is uh, using three eighths plywood and then um, I just put a, a silicone down it and squished it down and screwed it every um, four inches I believe. Now here is the uh, solar, solar panel sitting there. The left, left um, box, shall we say, um, or plantum, is the cold air intake. Then the air comes through the tubes, not through the center, and um, then out the uh, other uh, box, or the other uh, plantum on the right. Now here's an end view. Where you can see the, the tubes are coming through the support boards. And you'll see no, the notches halfway down the, the length of it. That is uh, where a three-quarter by one inch board goes across and is glued and screwed in. And that is to support the glass or the glazing so it doesn't sag or, um, or fatigue. And uh, here's the uh, view from the other side, and you can see the notches in the center, and how the tubes come through. Now, the boards uh, that support on that are on each end of the tubes um, go all the way through to the backboard. So the um, tubes are sitting above one inch styrofoam. Now that's one inch aluminum back styrofoam uh, down there um, and then it's all spray painted flat black so you have to make the support board with the tubes elevated to compensate for that one inch styrofoam that's why the holes look higher and not centered because that board the back of that board, the bottom edge, I should say, goes all the way down to the uh, to the plywood back, and then you screw it in place um, through the uh, through the back of the board. Now the ply the the backing. Here is the um, uh, intake. Uh, a, yeah, the inlet and the outlet ductwork. That's four inch. And all I did was cut the roughly, uh, roughly an inch wide and about two inches deep, and then just took the pliers and bent them over. And then here's a shot of um, the cold air and the hot air and how they're mounted into the solar panel. And uh, if you look carefully, you'll see that I didn't screw down every tab. I just screwed down uh, basically uh, in in the four quadrants, um, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 3, and uh, 9, just, uh, just to hold it down, um, and keep, just to secure it as be uh, best you can without having to go overkill. Now I used, um, I think, um, inch and three quarter screws on that um, because I ha you have to go through the one inch styrofoam and then through your three inch board so that, that would have been um, uh, just short of an inch and a half 
Okay, now here's the frame. This is this is a uh, all two by four, and I notched all the boards that where they join. I, I um, cut grooves in them, say, uh, half and half. You know, so you cut half uh, of the two by four away on the one, and you cut half the two two by four away on the other, and um, glue and screw them together. Everything is glued and screwed. The white you see around the base, that is butyl rubber uh, for a sealant. Um, and the uh, bases are 2 by 6. And here in this view, you can see the angle um, on the cross boards. And here is how the panel sits on those cross braces. Now, um, across the very front, that I believe I used uh, a one by six and screwed it into the uh, cross brace and then put the panel on, got it centered up and lined up and then I screwed the one by six to the frame of the solar panel. The uh, screen you see there, that I just put over the inlet and outlet holes so the rocks wouldn't fall into the ductwork. The coil wire on the uh, far end is for the uh, snap switch. Um, that's the temperature sensor that kicks on at 90, or no, uh, pardon me, that kicks on at 110 and um, uh, kicks out at 90. And then, of course, you see the board down the center. That's just to support the glass. And then here is a view of the hot air um, uh, duct with an adjustable elbow so I can line it up. And on the right-hand side is the cold air. And you can see how I notched out the uh, two by fours so that they would fit into each other and be flush. And uh, like I said, everything is glued and screwed. Now here is the uh, finished panel and um, with the glass on it and the frame around the glass. And you have um, on the left, right, and through the middle is the uh, sauna rocks. Those are the tempered rocks that can handle the heat. And like I said in the video, the middle section, those, those three lines, shall we say, that is dead air space. It, no air flows through that section or through those rocks. The air comes in on the lower left-hand corner, comes up through the rocks, goes through the tubes, comes out in, into those other rocks, and then up to the upper right, where the um, exit, uh, the outlet uh, is. Now you'll notice that there's foam there underneath. I filled in the entire void underneath the solar panel with four inch sheet foam and around the ductwork, it, it, of course it's a rough cut, you know, it's not custom fit. So there was voids there, so I got out the can of expansion foam and filled in that void around it, put in more foam, filled that in until I was, I filled it all the way up to, to the back of the solar panel. Now, in, uh, now when we get into the attic, this is the ductwork um, that I bought from Home Depot. And uh, as you can see, it's an R8 rating and they come 25 foot lengths, and I bought two boxes. I think they were roughly $35 a piece, somewhere in that neighborhood. Here's the uh, Radeon um, uh, fan, and um, that, uh, the box says it's 200 CFM, but the paperwork inside said something else. So. 
Yeah, uh, if you take the bottom end, what the box says, that's what it is. You got 200 cubic foot per minute coming, being sucked uh, uh, up from the co uh, cold air duct into your solar panel. And now the adapters um, that they show on the, on there um, are for four inch PVC. So when you try and put four inch uh, galvanized uh, stovepipe, for lack of a better description, into that, it, you're going to have a big gap. So you're going to have to silicone them, let them cure, and then tighten the clamps around it. Otherwise, you're going to have all kinds of problems. All right, now here is the, um, the fan mounted in. And that's the four-inch duct going all the way down into the back um, closet, hallway closet. And to the right, you'll see the back of the house. So I'm only like six foot away, five foot away from the very back of the house. And um, that comes up, and then underneath the aluminum foil, uh, right up on top of the fan, is my anti um, back flow uh, flapper valve uh, that opens automatically when the, the airflow comes through it it flips open and when the airflow stops it snaps closed and it looks just like a butterfly choke on a carburetor and that and it's just ultra light so that it'll just flip up and down uh, just by the air pressure. Now here's the control panel. Uh, everything in that little four inch box in this, uh, towards the top center, all the wiring for the solar panel is in that box. And it, uh, and it also feeds the outlet there for uh, for me to run my lights or uh, drill or whatever I need for electricity. And then the gray box down below is for my electric so uh, solar panels. And that's a topic for another video. Okay, now here is the outlet, the hot air outlet. And you'll see a wire hanging down from, uh, from the aluminum foil right at the, at the roof level. And that is the wire for the snap switch. And that runs over into the control box. And then halfway down, um, uh, after I took this, this picture, halfway down I cut the, uh, the ductwork in half and put an inline four-inch uh, fan to, um, uh, that was only 100 CFM uh, as a booster. So I've got 200 being pumped in to the solar panel, and just to help pull it back out into the house, I put 100 CFM in there. So that's not in this picture that was done afterwards. Now you can see where it goes down through the insulation. And here is the, um, the where it's connected to. Now this is a six inch um, uh, elbow. And then I put a reducer on it to the four inch that's up in the attic. And this again, I got lucky. It was in a back closet, uh, in, a, in another closet. So I had to have them all, all the ductwork hidden in closets. Now this comes goes through the wall and right into my living room, and um, it's completely out of sight. All you see is a register on the wall. So I got lucky, and, and it. Uh, and like I said uh, in the video, um, it was uh, three and a half to four hours. It could, it, it sometimes is a little more than that. Now, it, that is end of November, 
into December. So um, the, the sun's lower and my, my trees are getting in the way. In October through the middle of November, I was getting as much as six to six and a half hours of heat. And that was really nice. So, um, as the sun gets lower, you either got to knock down all your trees or <laughs> do something. But um, that's the whole story right there. So, thanks for watching. I uh, hope I gave you some good ideas. And if you got any questions or comments, leave them in the, in the comments box below. If you're uh, into hobby uh, casting or uh, foundry work, be sure to check out my website um, at uh, iMarketing Center slash foundry. There you'll see several um, builds of foundry furnaces. You'll find um, a list of uh, hand tools that you'll probably be needing. Uh, you'll also find a lot of recipes for green sand, coarse sand, uh, making your own refractory, uh, and, th uh, and, and along that line. If you'd like to see my other videos, please uh, stop by and uh, take a look at Grandpa Bill's. Um, I, I, ho I hope you will find those um, informative as well. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.